Hi, I'm Jim Taggart. I drive the number 61 Lotus USA Sport in World Challenge GTS. I've only been racing for a couple of years. I love racing. I raced motocross when I was younger, a lot younger, and I uh, was fortunate enough to sell my company and I uh, had something, needed something to do, so I got into this kind of racing, which is just great for me. In the next row, it's rookie Jim Taggart in the Lotus USA Taggart Autosport Lotus Siege. I started driving a Lotus right from the beginning. I had a Lotus, bought one right off the, right off the shelf, so to speak. Uh, it took me like two months before I totaled that one. And uh, then I've been a Lotus guy all, ever since then. I'd race Ariel Adam and uh, Spec Miata, and I've gotten into some Porsche racing, but Lotus has always been my favorite. And I talked about it, our Sunoco Heart Charger, Jim Taggart. There in that yellow Lotus, you just saw him. Now there he goes, sweeping the outside. Doesn't matter which car you were on board with, Taggart was going by him. These guys are fast, they play for real. They're really nice in the paddock, and it's road rage out on the track. These guys are really, really good. That's the difference. You get into club racing, and some guys are really good, and some guys are so-so, and some guys are not so-so-so. But these guys out here are all through the, through the paddock are really good. Lotus Exige is a great car. It's a great fun car to drive. It's very small. It's very light. Only weighs 25, 2,250 pounds with me in it. Uh, it's very nimble. It's not as fast as other cars, but it's very quick around the turns and it's a lot of fun to drive. It's got stock motor, stock pretty much shocks, everything. Uh, put a cage in it. A uh, little bit of the cooling we have to do, some upgraded brakes, and that's about it. As always, folks, when those red wheel and lights go out, we go racing. I was concerned at first uh, because I've never done that, but because it's got a rear engine and a rear wheel drive, it seems like all the weight just goes to the back, and I've gotten really, really good starts. It's a lot of fun. You're dropping the clutch, and you don't have a lot of wheel spin, but you're just looking, but you're looking way ahead to make sure somebody's not stalled, because I've watched enough videos online and on TV to know if somebody stalls and you don't see them and you pull out, it can be really bad. Yeah, I have a personal trainer. I uh, work out at least three times a week. I hate doing cardio, but she makes me do it. So I do weight training. I've learned that uh, with racing, you, you've got to build up your forearms and everything around my elbows because my elbows will just be really bad if I don't. So I do a lot of training. The fans are awesome. I mean, it's great because especially Long Beach is great because it's one big party out there and they love to see the racing and the, you know, they love to see racing where we, we're touching and there's a lot of contact and it's a re very close racing. What do you do when you're not racing? Well, I have two teens. They keep me very busy. Uh, I have some investments I do, but I do a lot of this. This is what I do. This is my really my full-time job. So I'm, um, I don't really help with the car, but I pretend to. I drive a 2006 Porsche Cayman that I just love, Cayman S that I love. I've got a 2010 Jaguar XKR that I love too. Uh, but I was at Barrett Jackson two years ago and I bought a Sylvester Stallone 68 Corvette, which is just an awesome car. I just love that car. I'd love to get a top 10 and be rookie of the year. That's, that's my goal. That would be awesome to do that.